ladies and gentlemen, what do you do when you're trying to make content for a game, but it ain't out yet? You react to the Reddit post, baby. Oh boy, I cannot wait to get back into this series. We are going to be reading some r slash Mortal Kombat posts today, and I will make sure to find all the, the entertaining ones to actually show you. Coming September. Get it? Because it, it has the K, because Mortal Kombat doesn't use Cs. I'm he's so quirky, so quirky. <laughs> some men just want to watch the world burn. Ed Boone. We love seeing cosplay of our characters, but why doesn't anyone ever ask for Jade to be an MK1? Oh well. <laughs> Hashtag next level trolling. I hate you. Uh, honestly, I'm fine with Jade not being in it. I'm not a huge Jade fan. I love the character, but like there's, I love most Mortal Kombat characters. I just love the franchise, man. So, uh, you know, sucks to suck Jade fans, I guess. <laughs> We'll probably end up getting her in DLC. I mean, we got Molina when people were crying about her for the MK11, right? Oh, why doesn't Johnny Cage put on his glasses like this? Doesn't he know it's rude to use your middle finger? Is he uneducated? <laughs> yeah, you silly, you dumb idiot. He knows he's, he's doing it on purpose. Oh my God. Ooh, some fan creations. All right, Reptile, Sonya, and Katana. Let's see, Reptile looks sick. Love the costume, love how he's got kind of reptilian skin. He's got like little, little long fingernails there. He's, you know, he, he did some acid to these guys. Now their faces are melting off. That's kind of screwed up. Oh my God, they're huge. Her, her thighs are huge, yep. That's uh, you know, that's how I love my MK characters for sure. Call me a misogynist all you want. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. Oh shit, Shao Kong. Yo, d d ignore Katana and her big bagongas, right? We got Shao Kong is like nine feet tall in this one. He would, you know how slow he would be like if we were to take physics into account? Cause like, I think, what is it? Like your volume goes up higher than uh, your mass or some shit. I don't know anything about physics, but like, the larger a creature is, it like isn't proportionate to their strength unless something else is at play. So like for to make a human that big, he would have to be very slow because <laughs> he's got a lot of weight to deal with. Oh my God, he's on. He's, that is a unit of a man right there. That great pictures, uh, Ricky. Fantastic pictures. Johnny's animation during his fatal blow parry has me dead. Please help me! Please help me! <laughs> That's funny. Do a little, do a little dance. Do a little dance. Meeting Ed Boon. Oh my God, he's got an Armageddon. Dude, he better uh, sign that. Is That's Armageddon, right? Am I dumb? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, what a goat. What a goat. Who are you playing first? And that gives all the characters. Um, probably Gearus. I, I just really just vibe with Gearus. I loved him in MK11. He was really the one of the few characters I really played. And if not him, then like Shang Tsung, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Smoke, Kung Lao, Luke. I, I love Mortal Kombat, man. I've played like MK9, I probably had 100 hours in the practice tool, probably more. I know it probably doesn't even sound a lot for a lot of fighting game players, but like for, a, for like a 12 year old to put that much time into a game, he wasn't even playing competitively. Like I just love to get the game that much. And I just loved experimenting with like different combos and stuff and just figuring out every little inch of the game. Like, dude, I'm so excited, too, because uh, if you saw my last video where I made a little reaction meme to what Sonic Fox tweeted, I'll probably put it in like the card thing or whatever in the top right corner. They're bringing back MK9 movement, or at least the game feels more like MK9 than MK11, right? Because in MK11, I did not like the movement. It felt kind of stiff. So hopefully it's less stiff. <laughs> I, I've, I've heard all nothing but goodness about the movement for this game so far from people who have played it. So fingers crossed or something. I, I was doing a little a little check mark thing, but that's not what it is. Who is strong? Picture of <laughs> low like 400 pixels Sub-Zero from MKX or 200 pixels scorpion from mk11 <laughs> let's see the comments on this one sun zero ah oh, nice sun zero nah scoping is oh true what <laughs> jimmy cage <laughs> johnny test <laughs> 
This is Dangerous Stir Fight. Scoping is the best. Scoping is the best. Hermeroids. Oh, I love Hermeroids. It has to be Goku. True, true. Goku solos for sure. SpongeBob. Okay, I, I don't. I. I'm not. I'm not reading this anymore. This. Oh God. Oh, heart attack! My boy Guru would destroy them. All right, we're, we're done reading this post. What the hell is this group? And it's literally what we just read. I don't blame you, dude. <laughs> He's making fun of Sun Zero. <laughs> What's this? Oh, epic. Oh. Ooh. Fatal Blow? Pogging out? I've actually, like, is Fujin good? I didn't keep up with competitive. I'm assuming he is considering it's the finals at Evo and both people are playing Fujin. That looks really annoying. Oh my god. You can't you can't get hit by the throw there, man. For the for the whole tournament? Oh I mean it's a 50-50, I'm pretty sure, right? Because he, he got him on the ground. He has to come up. Oh, that's such a shame. I would hate, I would hate to lose to a throw like that for that like big of a thing. Cause like, I'm just like, ah, I could have, I could have pressed Y. Right, isn't there two different buttons you need to counter a throw? I, dude, I haven't played MK11 in forever. Seriously, anyway. Got a capture card though. I'll be able to record MK11 tomorrow probably without it screen tearing, hopefully. I really need to make sure that happens for this, you know, new one that I want to grind. I'm gonna do a 24 hour stream again. I'm not, I'm not. I need to study for my personal training shit. Johnny K just stole his green energy, but it's more subtle. Ooh, good, good, good. This is something I don't wanna hear it. Uppercut crushing blows are coming back, sort of. Maybe I do wanna hear it. If anybody knows about the time this recording, but Stephanie Brownback from NetherRealm Studios actually showed me this brand new mechanic in MK1. So I forgot what she called it, but it's now a new punishing tool. So they're doing okay, a high attack, which Johnny Cage did a shadow kick. You duck that move, you uppercut, but when you uppercut, you also hold the up arrow on your Oh, okay, interesting. Button, and it does this new pop-up animation. So this new mechanic is a punish mechanic. So it's just a con- yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. What? what? No more kicking. No more kicking. I, I rem wait, is that real? Because I do kind of remember that. I'm not looking at the thread. Oh, here, yeah, this is the comment that I was talking about uh, that I made a video on that you should totally go watch considering it's 50 seconds and I, I put a lot of hard work into it by running around in my yard like an idiot for 50 seconds. <laughs> Thanks for everyone who gave MK1 suggestions. You continue to encourage feedback from whoever gets the chance to play these early builds. Let's make the game the best it can be together. Yep, just make it like MK9 and you'll have another fantastic game on your hands, ladies, uh, not ladies and gentlemen, Ed Boon. Your name's Ed Boon. <laughs> Johnny Cage to Lee May. Lee, may I have this fight? Hilarious, hilarious. NRS, game designers, graphic artists, marketing team. Really? Do you guys think they have bad marketing? I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I agree with this meme. I mean, all of their trailers that they've br brought out so far have been fire. I mean, except for the one with uh, Tanya and Lee Mae. That was kind of like boring to me. But that's probably because I'm like not a huge fan of all those characters. I want Tremor back. I want Tremor in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, the Lee May one had Baraka in it, didn't it? I mean, that was sick. The reveal with Baraka and, like, Molina all having, like, Tarkat as, like, a disease. That was sick. The Gears one is my favorite because, obviously, one of my favorite characters is coming back. And also, we got to see Liu Kang's amazing fatality where he literally creates a black hole and it just sucks a guy into it. Awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Y'all think Sandale's gonna have big tits? In MK11, she was one of two girls to, to serve big boobies and thighs exposed. We seen a bit of her, but her thighs are covered now. But I think she's still serving a little titty. What you guys think? <laughs> oh, man. I hope she does. I also hope Goro <laughs> gets a fat butt. Johnny already took that from him, sadly. Big booty Goro from M for MK1. <laughs> Sector 2, that cake caught me off guard. <laughs> what? Melina with a meat scepter wouldn't hurt. 
bro. What? All right, guys, I know it's Mortal Kombat in 2023. We can't have every character, every female character have the same model anymore, even though the all the male characters also had the same skeleton in MK uh, Mortal Kombat 9, right? Didn't they? Pretty sure it was there was just like a male and a female skeleton and they just like, you know, applied the clothes and different faces and stuff to each of them. Now that I think about it, it, really, that really does seem like the case. I know, I know, not every single uh, female character can have big boobas. It's, it's a damn shame, I know. But can we get a couple of them? Come on, I mean, Sindel. Come on, Sindel. That's like, that's like one of her, her main things. Come on. It's almost as iconic as her hair and screaming. Am I a misogynist? No, because I also like ripped shirtless guys. I'm not even gay. It's a fighting game. Come on. <laughs> I want to be beating the shit out of people butt naked, all right? With big breasts <laughs> and huge muscles. Mortal Kombat, baby. <laughs> all right, that's probably a good note to end the video on. Please consider liking and subscribing. Check out my Twitch and stuff in the description below. They got a link tree and everything. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of these because I could just continue to do these until Mortal Kombat 1 comes out and then maybe continue them still. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> maybe I'll do a Steam review and like Discord and all that shit. Whatever. Love you guys. Goodbye.